once again. Huh? Oh, here we are at the last of the final group in Phoenix, Arizona. There is beams of light. You have activated the planet. You have activated your heart and your soul. You have indeed activated the energy shifting into the consciousness of 2020. Your dear friend, huh? who brought in another metaphor for 2020. You know, we believe that this year is about self-mastering. Mastering who you are. A part of that is being able to see with 2020 vision. <laughs> Good, huh? Thank you, Frank. Huh? Is that energy that gives you clarity, that brings everything into focus? And as that brings everything into focus, you see and accommodate who you are as a part of this bigger picture of the planet. A few moments ago, you held the space for all of Australia with the catalyst of one soul who volunteered for that position to be the catalyst to expand the energy to the families, to the animals, to the country. That is in turmoil. As you breathe into that, some of you, you knew, felt the, almost the smoke of the fires within your lungs, huh? Because that is how the planet is working. The people on the planet in Australia, it is difficult for us to see, but as you know, like the tsunami, like the 9-11, they volunteered. Even the animals volunteered to bring this planet and allow them to focus their love, focus their prayers, focus their energy for one good, survival, for one good, heart-centered evolution. So it is no accident that it began or continued in the indigenous. They be the first peoples on this planet. So we ask you, why does it take such a trauma to send love to the planet? To shift that paradigm and send love to the peoples on this planet always, daily, in your meditation, in your activation. When we first arrived here in 1999 through this little vessel, Maryland, that the Buddha calls a ball of light, <laughs> we asked you to pay attention at 11.11. .11. A.M. Because that is a snapshot of your thoughts, that time of day. So we ask you once again at 11, 11 a.m. every day, set your alarm on your phone to just take a moment and send love to this planet without the trauma of fires, without the trauma of shootings or war. Just send love to this planet at 11, 11 a.m. And imagine what it will be like as that catches on. And every person on the planet at 11, 11 a.m. sends love to the planet. It happens every hour then, yes? Now, how do you send love to the planet when you are right here in Arizona, or you go home to your home and you've got all this trauma going on around you, and you're going back to work and you've got kids saying, it's time for lunch, and you've got
got all of this other energy. You just stop, as we said earlier. Stop, take a deep breath. In Thailand, our vessel Maryland was in Thailand with her group in November. She's been there many times. And this was the first time she was taught how to honor the truly honorable. And I'm going to teach you right now. And if you're listening to this virtually, you can still do this for we will describe it to you. And then at 11, 11 a.m., we're going to ask you to just take a moment for that no matter where you are. You have your hands in the prayer position. They call it Y in Thailand. And those that are truly honored, like the monks and the king and queen, you put your thumbs on your forehead in that prayer position. And you thank them for their service, and you hold them in love. Breathe into that. We hold that energy. We do not make the distinction for the monks, and the king and queen. We make that distinction for all of the people on the planet. And they bring it to the educators. But you then put your thumbs on your lips. Or close to your lips. And you give thanks for their service. And then for the regular people walking around, you put your thumbs on your heart. And even the tiny children the babies are taught to do this. And it is a matter of honoring all of the people that they come in contact with. So now what we say, of course we get to accommodate different as aspects. With your hands in your prayer position at 11, 11 a.m., you take a deep breath and you do all three. Place your hands with your thumbs on your forehead and give thanks for this planet and the people on it. And then move your hands down to your face and give thanks for the people and this planet and its service. And then put your hands on your heart and open your heart to the next level of service that you get to provide. Imagine, it just takes a moment. Imagine you do that at your work. And someone says, what in the world are you doing? And you say, I'm giving thanks to the people on this planet. You could do it too. And then they can do it. And then that person tells someone else. And that person tells someone else. And that person tells someone else. And it just takes a moment. Let us all do it together. Ready? Take a deep breath. We give thanks for the people on this planet for their service, for the planet itself, with a healing, loving light to all, because all are in need of healing, love, and light. We cannot decide what it is that they want or choose. Breathe now. In gratitude. Now visualize. Something like that. It may not be uh, 
universal in some cultures. However, the prayer position in the hands is pretty universal from what we have seen across the planet. And it is not that you are praying to something or someone. You are just giving thanks for the energy of love, for the energy of who you are. And if you're driving, it might be difficult to put both hands on your forehead and on your face and on your heart. So just do one, just for a moment. and then open the heart. You see, your love is the most powerful creative energy on this planet. The Master said, when two or more are gathered together, miracles happen. And as he returned in your heart, he said, miracles are now the ordinary. Because of your intention, dearest beings of light, we thank you for volunteering to come here to this part of the world at this moment in time. We thank those who have volunteered to sacrifice their lives to bring the awareness of love into oneness. And we ask that that oneness come in now without the sacrifice. Take a deep breath. Greetings, dear ones, a cry out of magnetic service. The last message of the day of the weekend. These beginning weeks of 2020. The theme this day seems to be togetherness and coherence. A theme that you would think is not that new. But what I want to tell you is that in today's energy, it's very different. For many years, if not centuries, there have been those who understood the light that would come together sometimes secretly, sometimes openly, depending upon the culture where they were and whether they were part of the system. And they would, what I will call, hold vigilance for the planet. And there would be the same kind of thanks that Adiranda has asked for. There would be prayers for those who were suffering, or perhaps during the wars. There would be a lot of sending of energy, good thoughts represented. What we wish to tell you, dear ones, is not a new idea. That together, you are powerful, and that your thoughts did something, they went someplace, somehow. But 
now suddenly, with the appearance of this new energy, there is a formation, perhaps of that which is before you in a, a succinct manner that is starting to make sense of why it works. And when you start to understand that there is a system involved and suddenly the system is graduating to a place where you can feel it and understand it and work with it, it makes a difference. But more than that, today your thoughts, old souls and light workers who wish to listen to this, have more power than they've ever had before. Power. The power to go someplace and soothe. The power to be recognized all across the world by those who don't even know what they're feeling. Now you know about the field and you're beginning to measure it and beginning to talk about it. Now you know about the nodes and the nulls that have only recently been matched. That's a machine. Your one's an esoteric, beautiful machine. And I want you to think of something, a metaphor of that machine pouring into this planet, a coating. Perhaps you can see it in your own metaphysical, metaphorical eyes, a coating. And the coating we're going to call transference, and it goes all around the globe and coats it with something new. That coating of transference is an allowance that has never been there before for an energy that has also never been there before. Where the thoughts and the prayers and the manifestations of a few can change the whole planet, where coherence is so much easier, and where the few can start to generate something like this group or those listening, where not only is peace being sent to soothe the hearts and the souls of those who need it around this planet, but also compassion. And then, information. Not raw information like in a book. It's, I call it the information of love. What it's like to be able not to just be soothed, but to have the tools to continue that and come out of things faster and easier, grief and hardship. It's new. And so this exercise that you went through just a moment ago, beautiful, where you were asked to have planetary influence, is no longer what it was. I'm telling you that it's only months old. A coding of transference, a new word in that context, means that the transfer of energy is instantaneous. Goes around the planet from a few to the many, and they feel it. Almost so much that they can see you doing it. They can see the hands raised in prayer and thanks, and something happens. The field is affected, the potentials are changed, the lives that are lost start to mean something. That's who you are. It's only begun. And there will be experiments conducted like there have been in the past with amazing results about how your energy of compassion is transmitted almost instantaneously those who need it all around this planet 
suffer and cry and are depressed, and suddenly they're not. And they can't tell you why. But you're going to sit here and know why. Because it works. Because it works. Because it works. Welcome to a new world where you mean something. And if you're one who sits here and has very little self-worth because of the things you've gone through or those who told you things, I want to tell you something. This alone establishes your worth. No matter what age you are, or your gender, or who you think you are, old soul, you've been through it. That creates wisdom, energy, maturity, and an engine of transmission of peace and beauty makes a difference and goes right on that new grid that's who you are. I want you to think for yourself that you're standing tall. You mean something. That's why you're here. I want you to take that home with you. And when you think of these things, in order to then place compassion on the grid, I want you to see results. I want you to visualize someone in trouble who then isn't. Someone who is suffering with grief who then suddenly isn't because they have something that's overcome them. And they don't know what it is, but they're feeling so much better about themselves and life and what's happened. And you can sit there alone in your bedroom and smile and say, it works. Because it does. Something very old, a principle, a prayer of sending energy is now becoming something you never expected. That is one of the reasons the notes and the notes are here. And that is another reason why the consciousness of this planet is raising. It's all about helping the planet and others. It's starting to go beyond that metaphysical idea that you had that's so strange to many about thought making a difference and you making a difference. Welcome to a new energy, dear ones, that you control. The energy of compassion and love and transference of energy. It's very needed right now on this planet. Stand tall at your worth. That's who you are. That's who you are. I am crying in love with humanity. You're getting a better idea of why. And that's enough for now. And so it is.